Greetings and blessings, everyone. Welcome back. Yes, we are back here at home. And so right now, what we're getting ready to actually do is to go ahead and break down this go bag, all the stuff that I had with me when I went on that walk. And so, of course, after going through Google and checking um, to see how far the journey was, we're looking right at about a 12 mile walk this morning. Of course, like I said, I throw a bonus in there. Um, that was probably about an additional mile and a half, two miles, somewhere around there, guys. And so, of course, um, this old boot here, this is my boot um, that I pretty much wear around the yard. Of course, you wanna make sure, guys, that you have some real good wheels um, going on a journey like that right there okay um this right here is a staff right here that um i had on the journey with me now this stuff right here guys comes in handy um helps with support especially if you in the woods somewhere you're getting ready to go over a ditch or something it can help to support you you come across some water you can poke it down in that water to see how deep it is so you can um you know judge what it is you're getting ready to cross um and like i said this is a staff right here that was also constructed here. Um, you know, it is a line that we have on out there uh, called the Staff of Moses and Aaron. We have not launched that just as yet, guys. Um, but we can get a close up and see what it is looking like. Um, you know, this right here is made from cedar wood. And so it's a real nice, uh, strong, durable uh, staff that we have here. Okay, so what we're going to also do, um, this right here, we're gonna start from the outside and work our way in. This right here is my canteen, guys. We do have a little, uh, you know, pot in here just in case if you need to start a fire, boil some water um, of that nature, you have a little small pot in here, okay? So that right there, still filled with water. Um, right here, what we also have, is a fire starting kit that we have right here on our uh, go bag now what this is going to do I tell you what I'll leave that on but what this bag pretty much is for guys it has what you need to pretty much go ahead and start a fire um, real quick okay you also have your uh, ferro rod in here that can help to strike a fire that's what that is okay and we do have a few more stuff in this packet right here all right that's just a couple of little stuff that we throw on in all right so in here we had another bottle that was with water because of course with your go bag you want to make sure you do have some kind of liquid of that nature to keep your body replenished okay so we're going to open up this packet right here and we're going to break it down so this right here what we have and one of the things is you will notice that I do have stuff in a zipper bag uh, this right here is to keep the stuff inside of the inside of the bag dry just in case if it start raining if I have to go through a, a creek or something of that nature I fell in the water my bag get wet a lot of this stuff right here will stay dry so this right here is just some uh, pain pills, you know what I'm saying, just in case if you get hurt or something of that nature and you need to, you know, soothe yourself from that pain. Um, what we also have right here is some salt. Now, this also comes in handy um, just in case uh, for your water, you could put a little pinch in there. That right there helps you to hold in, um, you know, that water so that way you don't sweat it out too fast. All right. Right here. We also have, and this is from Ozark Trails, guys. Um, this is just a little face net. You may get into an environment or of that nature where you have a lot of mosquitoes, bugs, and it can get be real irritable if bugs are steady, buzzing around your face, biting you on your face and all that. That's what that is for right there, okay? Um, also, what we also have is some all natural bug repellent. You're going through the woods, and you know, Lord forbid you, you go to an area where there's a lot of mosquitoes. This right here can go a long way, spray yourself down. 
uh, to protect yourself from those bugs. And make sure you get the all natural uh, bug repellent if you were to get it. Get it, now this is a plant-based bug repellent. Um, real nice and lightweight, it's a small bottle. Okay, so we also have that right there. Um, what I have here is also a pair of socks. Have it inside of a Ziploc bag. Make sure we keep it real nice and dry. Um, just in case if our boot get wet, the socks that we have on get wet, we can switch out. So make sure you have that handy as well. Okay. All right. Also, what we have right here is a bag with bird seeds. This right here is going to come in handy um, when it comes to you chopping any kind of uh, small games, whether that may be turkey, uh, doves, pigeons, um, you know, you know, we do follow the Leviticus law, guys. So we have to make sure that whatever game that we catch, it is lawful for us to consume. So that's where that will come in handy at. All right. So that's what that is. Um, a lot of people may think that's not necessary to put in your go bag. But you think about it, if you're going to be living off the land, you don't know the food that you may carry with you, you run out and you're out somewhere in the woods somewhere and you need to eat, guys, trust me, you set your trap, catch you some, some doves. If turkey is in, is in the area, catch you a turkey. Um, the smell from this, from the seeds also, can bring in big games as far as like deer and of that nature and it will come in handy, okay? Um, also, what we have right here, um, of course, we did talk about uh, the ferro rod that we have with our fire starting kit, but this is just a backup right here. Um, we do have a match and a lighter inside a zipper bag to make sure, um, you know, you, you have ways to start a fire because in a survival situation, fire is key and knowing how to start a fire is key. Um, also, what we are also going to do for you guys a lot of this stuff that we have inside of this go bag right here, uh, we're going to show you all how to put these things to use. Now, everybody go bag will not be the same. For me, I'm, I'm just going off of what I know and how to survive off of this bag. All right. Now, this right here is a compass, guys. I do need to get a map to go with this. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I do need to, um, you know, learn some land navigation. I do need to go ahead and get that, but this is just an additives inside of the bag just in case I need it. And so, yes, this right here is our compass right here, guys. All right, also what I have here is a multi-tool kit. Um, have quite a bit of different little stuff on there. We have a little pliers. Um, like I said, guys, it is a lot of different tools that are on this thing right here, all right? Okay, you see here, we have different little things to, from screwdrivers, you know, tell you what, scissors, you know, just a lot of different stuff, knife on here as well, let's go ahead and break it down, open it up for you all, so you can see what we have, okay, so that is it right there, a little multi-tool, that comes in real handy in a situation if you need some extra tools all right so that's what that is right here is another ferro rod guys just in case if i need to start a fire i may let lost one of the ferro rods that i have i have a backup right there okay now this right here i'll, I'll touch on that in just a moment so that right there is that portion of stuff that I have. Okay, so right here is the Holy Bible. Um, one of the things that we will need that we can't leave out of our go bag because I'm going to tell you, you're in a stressful situation and uh, this book right here will come in handy. Pull it on out and read you a few scripture where there may be Psalms uh, 21 or Psalms 91. And so this book right here we have to have it inside of our go bag all right so also what i have here is a flashlight um you definitely need a flashlight i've uh, got many different settings on it you got your red light also um just in case if you need to move at night um that way you're not easily to be detected with that red light all right so also what we have here is a 
med kit as well guys um, it's just a basic med kit um, not anything super super uh, crazy but you know it's good to have on hand you got a couple of different little knives in here um, you know you got ropes you know just different little stuff I put some extra band-aids in here just in case you're going through the woods and you get little nicks and little cuts and stuff of that nature we have gauze cotton balls and all that uh, which comes in real handy as well so that's what that is um, also we have an axe that also comes in very handy guys if we need to cut down trees um, need to build huts or anything of that nature out in the woods um, to put a shelter over your head at night um, that's what we have also is an axe all right so right here what we have as well is some sanitary wipes so just in case if you need to clean yourself up or anything of that nature um, have these right here handy real nice and lightweight okay so we have that as well this right here is a emergency blanket just in case if it's cold out there you get wet and you need to regulate your temperature keep yourself real nice and um you know warm this is what this is right here emergency blanket all right so also what we also have here is another uh knife that comes in real handy just in case if we need to uh, you know skin a deer or something of that nature this knife right here comes in real handy guys um, it has uh, a whistle on it just in case if you somewhere you get separated from someone and you want them to know where you are of course you don't want everybody to know where you are so you must know when to go ahead and use that whistle we do have another ferro rod on here uh, to make more fire because yes fire is key and we have to have the way to make that fire um, also what I have is some some rope right here um, this rope right here comes in handy as well guys um, just in case um, if we need to put up a little shelter a real quick makeshift shelter we use this rope for that if we need to set a trap for wild game or anything of that nature we use the bigger uh, portion of the rope now there are smaller strings in here that we can go ahead and take a loose if needs be and we can use those to set traps for like doves or you know anything that is real small um, that we you know would need to go ahead and get so this rope right here we also have that inside of the bag um, also what we have we have some hooks and fishing line in the bag as well and I do have some weights to go with this right here and so this would be for us to be able to catch a small pan fish um, and you know just to take the hunger off our stomach guys all right so that's what that is okay we do have a little small uh, binoculars right here as well um, just in case if we need to look out to a great distance um, real nice and small compact and lightweight so we have that and also we have just little small you know sanitary wipes as well just in case we need to you know do our business out there all right and so right here what I have is a little pack of some uh, beef stew in a packet you know what I'm saying definitely um, you know you're thinking about getting out there you have to have something in your bag that can sustain you now like I stated before that this bag, yes, is incomplete guys. Um, I do need to go ahead and get me a pancho inside of this bag. A pancho can serve me where that if it's raining to cover me on up. It's big enough to where I can make a little makeshift shelter out there to where that I can, you know, stay out of the element. Put it that way. Okay. And so there is even more skills that goes into having these things right here guys um, like I said what I have right here with me is just a few things to be able to if I'm out there in the woods somewhere to be able to get food now one of the things I've also talked to my wife about that I want to go ahead and do that I want to put inside of this go bag is a slingshot also you need to learn how to use the slingshot because when it comes to birds doves or anything of that nature you can go ahead um, and, and shoot a bird You're not making a whole bunch of no noise 
and giving away your location wherever you may be in the woods. So we also want to keep that in mind. All right. So the thing about it is, guys, as you see, I went on out and I did that walk this morning. These are things that I want you to keep in mind. You have to understand, oftentimes you're on the highway and you see an accident happen, right? What happened? You have a, a traffic jam probably about two miles, three miles, and the highway is shut down, okay? So it's very important to have a bag with you to where you can grab and go at any notice because if you have a all your stuff and your all your supply in the car you only can carry but so much stuff so having this bag right here ready on the go if you know something happened lord forbid and you have to hop out your car and you have to go on the move you have everything that you need inside of this bag to be able to survive somewhere on out there all right so um of course another thing we do have you know our you know like i said we have more stuff that have to go inside of this bag that is a bit classified okay which we're not going to show here um on on this video right here guys but yes that will also go into my go bag to make sure that i have uh self-protection while i'm out and about and moving okay um so nonetheless that's that's pretty much it right there just make sure as well that the clothes that you have, you can put that in your go bag, comfortable clothes that you can able to move and operate in. Because if you have jeans on, sometimes those jeans, they get to rubbing inside of your legs on long journeys. So have some stuff and more so cotton that can easily breathe, guys. As you see what I have on here, these are cotton clothing that I have on. So that's going to conclude it right there. That is a real quick, um, you know, update on what I have inside of this bag. And like I said, go ahead and start creating yourself a go bag. Just start putting small little things in there um, to, 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 to sustain you. Um, also, we're going to go ahead and get a couple of little trail mix uh, nuts and stuff like that to put in this bag as well. Um, you know, just to be able to put protein in in our body while we are moving and going about so none of the less um, that is it right there of course this was a walk just by myself today but you think about it if you have a family that you also have to move with they also need a bag to where that they have their uh you know different products in there that's going to help them especially if it's a lady um to be able to keep yourself clean as they move so um, guys, um, I pray that this video right here reach who's, who it needs to reach. And I pray that this video helps to motivate you guys to go ahead and get on out there, put your boots on, tighten up your straps, and walk your best mile. Just want to say peace and blessings to each and every one of you all out there. Remember, you keep a smile on your face, you be happy, you be cheerful, and you be blessed. Until next time, I will catch you all in another video. Have a blessed day.